All right, everybody, welcome to your Plant Power Meal Planner. You're going to see it's really exciting. So this is an overview of what's suggested for me this week. You see I have three different recipes for breakfast. I'm also going to have three for lunch and for dinner so that I just have to pick from one of these three. Uh, obviously, you have even more options if you go to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But let's look at... Take a look at this miso soup right here before adding it i'm just gonna check and see does this appeal to me does this look like something i want to do let me look at oh look 90 percent of people would make it again and the ingredients that looks pretty good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add it i'm not gonna click on add to grocery yet i'm gonna create a new menu first because this week is the beginning of the week i'm gonna call this menu this week's menu you can call it this week September 1st menu, September 2nd, I'm going to create it. And now I'm adding this miso soup to this week's menu. I'm going to go back and look for more options. Let's see. Uh, let's go back to breakfast. But I'm going to go check what other days have for me. Uh, this oatmeal, English muffin. Oh, chia oatmeal. I love that. Let's, let's see, it has a good rating. The ingredients look pretty simple. Most of it is stuff that I use on a regular basis. I'm gonna go click on add and I'm gonna add it to this week's menu. And there it is, it's added to my menu. Now let's pick a dinner. Ooh, that banana, ooh, milkshake looks good. Let's check. These falafel wraps, a stew, stir fry. Mm. Oh, this looks really good. Yeah, let's let's give it a give it a try. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it's gonna it's good for large servings. So I have a lot of workouts planned this week. I might want to add something like this. So this one says that it has 600 something, 610 calories. So this is for a larger appetite. So for those days where you do a longer workout, it has 30 grams of protein. I'm really happy with that. So I'm gonna give this one a try. Click on add this week's menu and done. Now we're gonna go and check out our grocery list. So this is our, actually this is our menu list where we have the menu for the week. I'm only gonna make three recipes this week because I'm actually going to have them more than once during the week. Now what I'm gonna do is check with my groceries. So I'm gonna sync my grocery list with what's on this menu. I'm gonna click on grocery at the top. Now what's cool is that you can check off certain items you already have at your in your fridge. So I already have some bell peppers. I already have some brown rice. So I don't want to add all this on my on, on, on my list. I don't want to have to think about it when I get to the store. I already know I'm at home, I can check. I have some chia seeds. I off, of course I have maple syrup. Rolled oats, it's all good. We have walnuts. And if you see arame seaweed, you, if you have seaweed, that's more than, that's perfect. You don't have to do exactly what it says, just make sure that it's similar. What else? We do need some. We don't need more peppers. We have those. We do have some soy milk. That's all good. And notice how they put the teaspoons and a tablespoon. So you don't have to buy a big bag of whatever if all you need is a tablespoon or just one cup. So this is the list of all the checked items that I don't need to buy again. But these here are the ones I need to buy. So what I'm going to do is email this grocery list to myself. So when I get to the store, I just open up the email. It might get into your junk mail, so watch out for that. Uh, or I can print it if I like it, the good old traditional way of printing. Now, this is my menu right here. And if I look at my breakfast, you can also, once you're done, you've done it, you like it, you don't like it, would you do it again? Make sure that you add that. Now, one little tip. I'm gonna ask you to go in your preference and check your cooking time. If you put 
Ten minutes for lunch, for example, because you're like, oh, I don't have time for lunch. But you cook it the day before. Crank that time up because you're gonna end up eating only sandwiches, like I did that first the first few weeks. And I was wondering, why does this meal planner only have sandwiches? Well, of course, I put in that I only had ten minutes to cook for lunch. So make sure that you're bu bumping that up a little bit and play with it, and you'll see. So you can update your meal right there. And that's it.